Now that we've introduced uh, the inverter and the AND and the OR gate, what happens when we put some of these together? So let me show you an example of a, a compound circuit. So suppose we have A and B as inputs to an OR gate, and then the output of the OR gate gets ANDed with a third input C. And our result, we'll call it function F. So function f is going to implement a or b, and then that result gets anded with c. Okay, so this is the algebraic statement corresponding to the gates that we have drawn out here. Okay, so um, this is called a two-level circuit because we have um, the first level is this OR gate, we need this to evaluate and produce an answer before we can evaluate the second stage, which is the AND gate. Okay, so we have two levels in this particular circuit. Um, this particular example is called an OR AND circuit. We read this from left to right. The inputs come in from this direction and um, they kind of start, they propagate towards the right. And at the end is um, where our final function outputs of the circuit. Okay, so this circuit has three inputs. This is the first time we've seen one with three inputs. So let's look at the truth table and see how it's different. So our, for our truth table, our inputs are not now A, B, and C, and our output is F which is equal to A or B and C. Okay, so let's go through the combinations here. Um, in order to represent all of the possible combinations of inputs, we can just count in binary, but now we have three bits. So it's gonna start at 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 101, 110, one, and 111. One, one. Okay, so we have eight cases that we have to evaluate for our circuit. So we can go through step by step, and we can, if you like, in your notes, you can put on the side the truth table for the OR gate. So A or B. The truth table is 0 or 0 is 0, 0 or 1 is 1. 1 or 0 is 1, 1 or 1 is 1. The truth table for A and B, 0 and 0 is 0, 0 and 1 is 0, 1 and 0 is 0, and 1 and 1 is 1. So if you need these in your notes so that um, you can use these as we're evaluating this compound circuit, that's totally fine. Okay, so let's go through. Um, suppose we have 0 and 0 coming in to the OR gate. So we can look over here, 0 or 0 is going to produce a 0, right? So that means we have a 0 coming out of this OR gate and getting piped in as an input to the AND gate. So if we have 0 coming in here and then C is also 0, that means the input to our AND gate is 0, 0. So we can look over here, if our inputs are 0, 0, our output will be 0 to the AND gate. Therefore, our output to this circuit is zero when all the inputs are zero. Great, okay, so the next case, we have zero, zero coming into the OR, so the result of the OR is going to be a zero. That zero gets piped in as an input to the AND gate, but then um, our other input line C is gonna have a one. So the input to our AND gate is zero and one. Zero and one is also zero. Next case, we have a 0 or a 1, a 0 and a 1 coming in on A and B. So now we're going to have the output of our OR is finally going to be a 1. So we have a 1 coming into this AND gate. Um, our C input is now a 0, so we have 1, 0 going into our AND gate. 1 and 0 is going to be 0 still. But this case, the next one um, in our input list, we have a 0 and a 1 coming in here, so our output to, from the OR is going to be a 1. So we have a 1 coming in to our AND gate here. The C coming in is also a 1, so now we have a 1 and a 1, so we finally have an output of 1 on F. 
So let's continue on. One or zero is one. That one gets anded with zero, so this is going to be zero. One and zero is one. That gets anded with one, so the output will be a one. One or one is one. Anded with zero is zero. One or one is one. Anded with one is one. So. Um, it might help when you're making your truth table if you'd like to kind of have intermediate steps. So as you're making this, if you wanted to have another column, say for A or B, and that would give you the output that is on this line right here. And then you could just take this column, whatever this happens to be, and and it with the input C, and that would give you your F. So if you'd like to do that for yourself, that's totally fine. Um, your truth table just to ha has to have all possible inputs and then the final output of your function that gets implemented by this. Um, so I'll show you some more examples later of um, two and three stage circuits with ands and ors, and also I'll show you what happens when we stick some inverters and buffers in there as well.